Hi, welcome to this video deck, which is all about uh, the best Forex education for beginners in the form of 10 books. Now, the 10 books I'm going to discuss in a moment, if you go and get them, they won't cost you much. You get them all for un uh, sorry, under $100 on Amazon. They will give you everything that you need to know in terms of of achieving forex trading success you know the books cover all aspects of forex trading from the best strategies to the psychology that successful forex traders have the money management they'll also motivate you as well now i'm going to go through the 10 books on a storyboard and why i like each one and then if you wish you're busy go to amazon and check out the books for yourselves and what other people have to say about them as well. But this mix of 10 books I think is perfect for beginners who want to achieve forex trading success. So let's go and take a look at all the books and discuss them in more detail. All right, so I've got the 10 books that I've selected out. Um, they're not in any particular order. Obviously, I've said they all complement each other. Um, they've all got something different in them that you will learn. And uh, in terms of the books, you can just go and look them up on Amazon see what other people have to say about them, but they're all extremely highly rated and rightly so. Now, in terms of book number one, The Zurich Axiom was by Max Gunther. This is a, a, a book that's an easy read. It's a fun read, uh, but it carries a serious message, which most traders don't heed. Do not follow conventional investment wisdom. You're going to lose. And it makes some fantastic points in relation to how traders do and why you shouldn't and in terms of the book um you'll read it you'll really enjoy it um it's like i said it's very witty and funny uh you have serious message obviously it's very motivational when you come to the end of the book you feel like you want to go out and trade and you actually feel yeah i can win and the basics of winning in in trading are in the book um so fantastic read uh way the turtle by Curtis Faith. Outlines the story of the turtle traders. Um, they were a group of people then that got any trading experience and uh, a guy called Richard Dennis, a famous trader, taught them to trade in two weeks. They made him several hundred million dollars. Faith was the top performing turtle. He tells the turtle story, which is very motivational. But in terms of the book, it, it also outlines the turtle strategy in full. Now, it wouldn't work today like it did um, when it was traded. It was traded about 30 years ago because volatility in the markets has changed. But the basics of putting together a trading strategy, risk management, um, etc., are in the book. Okay, So the basics of building a strategy, um, you can learn from the book. Okay, And... In terms of the book, even though the strategy was simple, I've talked to them in two weeks, um, Faith makes the point that the strategy was actually hard for the turtles to follow, even though they knew it came from a trader who was one of the best in the world at the time. It just goes to show how important psychology is. And he goes through the psychological problems that they had. So it's a motivational book and gives you the real basics of how to build a strategy yourself for trading success. Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. It's a mindset book about the psychology of winning traders or becoming a winning trader. Um, he was one of the first people ever really to really get into the psychology of trading. And trading in the Zone is, is rightly a classic. Some people make the criticism that it does repeat itself a bit or it's repetitive, but that's no bad thing because the points it repeats are basically mistakes that traders will make. Um, I really like the book, Trading Instincts by Curtis Faith. Leads on from Wave the Turtle. Uh, turtle trading system was purely mechanical. Faith today uh, says that, yeah, obviously mechanical trading systems don't work anymore. You need flexible rules, but you need to use your instincts um, to trade with your rules. And he tells you, when your instinct should be used and when you should basically be weary of using your instincts. He also goes into a lot of psychology in the book, which complements trading in the zone. And he uh, gives a very simple 
trading system, which is called a rebound swing trading system, which anyone can practice, use, adapt to make money with. Uh, book number five, uh, two books together, but you often buy them uh, you know, as a set, so to speak. Market Wizards and New Market Wizards are considered the two best books uh, in terms of trading interviews with top traders ever. And the books are fantastic. Every trading interview you're going to learn something from. The key themes uh, you will learn is Forex trading is simple, but it's not easy. All the traders stress that. Also, they stress that risk management is the key to trading success. They've all got different trading styles. So you learn about there's many different ways to make money in the market. And there's kind of tips and techniques from every trader that you will actually be able to use in your trading strategy. That's what I found. Um, yeah, really, really good books. Um, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. It's a fictional uh, story uh, or account of um, the trader Jesse Livermore, who made and lost fortunes in the market. It really goes in to how to win money, but how difficult it is to keep it and not fall for mindset traps. The way it's written and the quotes and so forth is superb. I probably can't do the book justice in my description, but most of the world's top traders will have that book and will have read it several times. It really is that good. Arrow Between the Dog and the Wolf is probably one of the most original books on trading I've ever read. Psychology, very important in trading, as I've said, but Coates also makes the point that... Um, your psychology is very influenced by your biology and steroid hormones such as dopamine, testosterone, cortisol, and so forth. And that's why traders find it so hard to do what they know they should do. Um, it's also the story of how traders, their biology influenced them in the financial market crash. Now, it may not sound that exciting or relevant. Again, I'm having a problem giving this book the credit probably that it deserves. Um, but it is one of those books, you will not put it down, and it gives you a real different angle in terms of trading and how to achieve success, which most traders don't even consider. The book won numerous awards as well. Book number eight, Methods of a Wall Street Master by uh, Vic Spirandier. Bit of everything in this book, uh, psychology, risk management, trading plans, strategy. Uh, but I think in terms of this book, one bit I really liked, well, I liked it all, but the bit I really liked was his technical analysis um, in terms of his big fan of Dow theory, which I am, and the way he thinks technical analysis should be performed, okay? It's really, really good. Um, you know, in terms of the technical analysis section. But the whole book, yeah, it's a great all-round read from a true master trader. What I learned losing a million dollars, Jim Paul, story of him losing obviously a lot of money, what he learned. And in terms of risk management, money management, one of the best books you will ever read. Uh, last book on the list is The Art of Execution by Leo Freeman Soar. This book I only read recently and... Uh, on the back of the book, there was a hedge fund manager who said the book was so good he gave it to all his employees because it tells you how to execute your trading signals in the right way. And there's several ways of doing this. And if you do, you're going to win. Most people execute their trading signals in the wrong way and lose. And uh, it's not that long a book, actually. And again, an easy read. But uh, the message it rams home uh, most traders never, ever learn. Fantastic book. All 10 of them are really good. You can look them up on Amazon, read other reviews about them, find out more information. But they're, uh, yeah, for me, just essential books for any trader to um, read and learn from. So that is the video for today. Thank you very much for watching me as usual. Take care. Have a good day.